All right, I thought I'd throw up a little video here on the Pontiac. I've had it out quite a bit over Easter weekend, Good Friday and Saturday in the evening. It was really nice. It was like in the 80s on Saturday. So I had it out cruising. A lot of other people were out cruising on Woodward, so there's lots and lots of fun cars out. Um, I didn't mount the GoPro because it was getting on dusk and dark and... and uh, it doesn't video while well in the dark, but I parked next to a 61 Cadillac that was unrestored and uh, got a lot of good feedback on this car along with the guy I did with his Cadillac. The paint isn't as, wasn't as shiny as this on his Cadillac. I think his Cadillac, he said, sat outside in the weather for seven years. And uh, he said he tried to polish it up and it just comes off to where this car has been garaged pretty much all since it was new. And it was stored almost 40 years in a barn. So I think that's what saved the paint on this car, why it wheeled up so nice. And he couldn't get over how nice the car looked. I got a lot of positive feedback on leaving the engine compartment alone. Um, my dad said that I should paint it up, but I just like it original. And... Uh, a lot of good feedback from people out checking the cruisers out. A lot of people thought it was amazing that it's still in its original condition. Thought it looked pretty good for the age of the car and being in its original condition. And uh, I've put, I filled it up with gas today. I was out running errands with it. I've put 139 miles or so on it since I last filled it up. And uh, I think that, I don't remember, but it was a hundred and just around 140 miles and it took 9.9 .9 gallons of gas so basically about 14 miles a gallon I figured it was 13.939 miles a gallon so we're gonna say the car gets about 14 and I'll I'll check the mileage again as I uh, drive it more um, I did tighten up the belts and uh, the belts are starting to get a little loose this one, the power steering one was quite loose and I thought maybe, you know, I took the pulleys off and sandblasted the rust or bead blasted the rust out of the grooves because they tend to act like a file and wear your belts out if you don't clean the rust out of the grooves. And I tried to sand the, this pulley by hand and the crank pulley clean, but it might have, I don't know if it was just normal stretching from a new belt or if it was doesn't look worn so I'm assuming that's what it is it was pretty loose and uh, so I don't think there's you know if there's a little rust surface rust in the pulley I'm sure the belt will eventually wear it out but the belt doesn't look worn so I'm gonna assume that it was just stretched from not being readjusted after they're put on new and uh, so I readjusted both belts I just checked the oil and it was full um, I'll, I had that on video and I'll edit that video in. And, uh, but it was a lot of fun out cruising on Woodward with all the old cars over the holiday weekend. Put some miles on the Pontiac, parked in a few places, talked to people. Had a lot of good, really good feedback on the car. I was really happy. So, again, I didn't mount the GoPro. I don't know if everyone's getting bored of just seeing the camera in the car. Usually when you're driving with traffic, you're driving with the same cars the full direction and you see the uh, the cool cars going the opposite way and it's, you know, I can't drive and hold a camera and zoom over to other direction or whatever. So that's why I didn't bother putting the camera in the car. Plus it got dark and when I was parked next to the 61 Cadillac it was dark. But I'll see him out again. He was out both nights. I'll try and get some video of his car next to us. It's the same color as this car. I think his had 60 some thousand original miles on it. To where this has 25,744 miles on it now. So I've been driving, I've put over 400 miles. I just bought six quarts of oil and another oil filter. So another 100 miles or so I'll change the oil in it and uh, get that, you know, just wanna kind of flush out the motor a little bit with fresh oil and uh, everything's going good on the car so if you want leave some feedback if there are some comments if you want me to mount the GoPro up when I'm out 
cruising I can totally do it but like I say it's just you know a lot of just probably everyday cars and boringness unless I'm driving along with some neat old cars um, so yeah it's it's just been fun cruising with it and uh, really good weekend now they're predicting the weather to turn kind of crummy after Wednesday for a while so may not um, be out cruising much we'll see um, but the weekend was phenomenal a lot of people were out it was like a zoo out there with all the people cruising it was a lot of fun and uh, having fun with the Catalina and uh, haven't had the Chevy out since the last video of the Chevy being out it's up at dad's and haven't been up there and I'm going up tomorrow I don't think I'll have time to get it out tomorrow but when I have the seat out of this to reupholster it I'll maybe put this up in the garage and Romeo and bring the Chevy down and do some cruising with that so yeah just have been having a lot of fun with the old cars so I'll go and throw a video up. I haven't put a video up because I really haven't had to do anything to the car. It's been running good, driving good, not giving me any trouble at all. Like I say, just waiting on the upholstery for the seat and we'll get the seat upholstered and, and uh, but everything's all good on the car. It's all filled up with gas right now and ready to go cruising. So we get some more nice weekend weather and Friday and Saturday evenings and we'll take it out and cruise and again I was out running errands with it today so I drive it almost every day that's nice so I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit before I sell it and uh, it's a lot of fun really a fun car to drive so if you like I say if you want to see some more video of it driving I can mount the camera somewhere in the car and we can go from there and uh, hope you enjoy my videos and subscribe if you enjoy them. Thank you for watching them. Well, I'll try and do this with the camera, holding the camera, and I'll get the stick wiped off and uh, check the oil in the engine. Let's see here. Right on the full mark still. I don't know if that shows up in the camera. It's really hard to tell. But anyway, it's right on the full mark. The oil still looks fairly clean. But again, I'm going to change it in another 100 miles or so. And then I'll let that oil go a little longer. So.